first of all, I want to say that I'm very, very happy to be here. We're like the total offense on the spectrum, aren't we, John? John is hard. And God love his heart. He shares his face with me. And I'm kind of an overbearing, a very forceful uh, person. And Jonathan is the one that's behind the scenes. He's the one that does all the work and never says anything. And I'm the big mouth that blabs it all. But we are total opposites, but I, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart that I find it a privilege to work with this man. He is so smart, and he is so patient with me, because to say that I'm a little technology challenged, technologically challenged, is an understatement. And he'll say, now, Miss Carter, you need to do this and this and this. And I said, John, right over the head. What does that mean? Tell me. Explain to me. So he's been very patient for me. So when we went to the Appalachian Leadership Laboratory, and Tom Murray, he did, I think he motivated everyone. He was so phenomenal. And when he started talking about designing space and the learning space and how important that space was, well, being the frustrating interior designer that I always thought I would be, and I practiced in my home, I thought, all right, I'm right. I am so right because I know it's important to have pretty surroundings. I know it's important to have a lamp that coordinates and has a wonderful hue that makes the room just glow. I know all this is important. Sherry's laughing because she used to come and see me when I was principal at the middle school. And was my office like that? Did I have to have the pictures just right? So it was validation for me that these things are important. So when we started talking about our capstone, uh, John and I, like I said, share a space, and it's actually a storage space, isn't it? If you will look on the pictures, you will see our learning environment. Is it innovative? Is it creative? Does it motivate leadership and uh, students to create and collaborate? Well, we didn't think it did. And fortunately, we had the good luck uh, that we were offered a stipend, you say, to help change this learning environment. And that's what we've done. Now, it's going to be student-based. And Jonathan's STLP students, and I will tell you right now, Jonathan takes care of our, our entire district. He is the technology person. He's the one everyone calls and everyone goes to, and so he is so busy. But yet, he takes time to motivate these students. So he is the STLP coordinator. And if you have a chance, I want you to go down on the, the runway, the concourse, and look at what his STLP students have created. It is truly marvelous what he has honed in on their creativity and their innovation. And he is the one that's done it all. So I just jumped on board, and we are going to redesign this STLP space. You can see it's a storage room. So what I did, or what Jonathan and I both did, we, we surveyed the STLP students. So that is the first thing we did. We have them, what do you think is more, most important? Prioritize what you want to see happen to this room. This is your learning space. So we've, give stu we've given the students control of what they're going to do. Well, you can see at the bottom, we have uh, the greatest need to be addressed in that redesign, and 52% of them thought the number one thing we needed to do was storage. Can you see why they said that? But when you think about, he also is a, um, uh, he, he recycles, he refocuses, he redesigns, he takes all of this junk and he recreates it. I mean, I, and I know I'm embarrassing him and I've embarrassed him since he was a child because his mother is my best friend. She's the other interior decorator that we, we all offer. We're the designing women of Hazard. Uh, but, but, you know, he, he really does. It's just amazing. So I think he deserves and I think those students deserve a place that will be creative, will be warm, will be inviting, will be friendly. He also has been to Google, so we kind of want to give it to Google's layer too. But 52% of those kids thought that storage was an issue, and then they wanted to have a place, a collaborative space, so that they could discuss and they could throw ideas up. And then a planning space, and then, and this one was near and dear to my heart, 23% of them thought the temperature was an issue. And let me tell you, when you're in the server room, and this is what I'm always doing, I have two fans pointed at me. It could be because of my age, it could be because of my birth, or it could just be it's hot in there. So if, if the little skinny teenagers too, but, but it's funny, but they address that too. But we want, we'll, we're really looking forward to this. So the students are doing the research, the students are finding the, air, the areas they want. We're going to divide it up and we're going to conquer it. And we're going to make this a beautiful space. I can't wait for you to see it in the spring. And one of the core concepts of STLC for the, for the program is creativity and innovation. 
and uh, we want to create an environment conducive to that for our students when they come in, help them to spark those creative juices. So. And our kids are excited about it. I mean, you're on there that you wouldn't believe some of the things they have. Like a thousand dollar chair, hello. We've got to have more than one person collaborating. So, uh, but, but they're really getting excited about it. And they're online and they're looking up, you know, things they want. So. But in addition to the project downstairs, be sure to see it if you can. Uh, our second ACL Creek project will be, uh, we've created another group where they're going to go out and work with teachers to redesign their spaces. So, and they're actually going to create the rooms from a 3D model from the ground up, furniture, dimensions of the room, and everything. So, and we're going to try to seek external funding to get that done for those teachers. So, that's something we're hoping we can do. If you build it, they will come. It'll be a baseball field. It'll be a creative field, a creative area. And it, I mean, if those classroom redesigns, if there's something around technology or something like that, they can write a Gary Grant yes. to help with that. So that's awesome. We're encouraging you. Yeah. That is awesome. But you design it, it could be on HGTV. Oh, I, <laughs> I might even get my own show. <laughs> <laughs> and that lady, what is the one person the staff that has the cooking channel, Southern at Heart? Yeah. You know, and I'm thinking, I could do that. No, I could. Yeah, so we both have a summer. No, I think she does. Oh, they are my heroes. I have Netflix. They're on Netflix now. So I watch rerun after rerun and get ideas. And yeah, so yeah, I love Chip and Joey. That Chip is cute. So, any questions? Thank you. So.